Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's it. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. What happens if my fire door has excessive gaps? Do I need to buy a new door? That's an excellent question, and I'm sure that a lot of facility managers around the country are asking that same question. Come on in and let's check it out. NFPA 80 requires on fire rated doors an eighth of an inch gap along the vertical edges as well as the top of the door. This can be plus or minus a sixteenth of an inch on hollow metal doors and right at an eighth of an inch on wood and plastic laminate and other type doors with a maximum undercut of three quarters of an inch on the bottom because smoke rises and you're not gonna get enough smoke underneath the bottom of the door if it's got a three quarter inch undercut. One of the things that NFPA 80 does permit is shimming of steel and wood fire doors. And in order to do so, you must use steel shims. You can buy them pre-packaged with the sticky tape on them, four and a half inches high. They're already the right thickness. But if you've shimmed the door and you can't get it within tolerance, there are some excessive gap solutions. Pemco now makes products that because buildings settle over time or they weren't sized properly to begin with, or maybe you've got flooring change or the door is sagging. These products are designed to be used on wood, steel doors, plastic covered composite core doors without taking the door out of the opening. They seal the gaps and they bring them back into compliance for NFPA 80. They save time and money on maintenance and they're UL certified for doors up to 90 minute rated. Plus, this is sustainability month and these products are sustainable. So you can use them as a holistic approach to helping upgrade your facility. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking on the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. You can email me at katherine.flower at asaabloy.com if you have any code questions or if you've got one that you'd like to see featured on a future episode of Code Corner with Katie. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.